Hey everybody, this is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is the new Samsung Galaxy Tab. This is a 7-inch Android tablet here, and as you can see, it has a touch screen, and it looks an awful lot like TouchWiz that we've seen on the Samsung Captivate, the Samsung Vibrant, and the Samsung Epic 4G. But given the tablet form factor, you can see here, compared to the size of my hand, it opens up a world of possibilities for web browsing and ebook reading and the like. The display resolution is 1024 by 600 pixels, and this is a Super TFT display because they can't make Super AMOLED displays that large yet. It has both Wi-Fi and 3G. And this is the international version. We don't yet have the information on U.S. carrier models, but it should likely be the same. Let's take a look around. You can see it's quite thin. It's attached to the optional accessory dock that has USB and HDMI. The back on the European version is white, which is good because you can't see fingerprints. And here we've got the rear-facing main 3-megapixel camera with autofocus lens. And on the front, it's a teeny little thing you can barely see, but there's a 1.3 megapixel video conferencing camera. This has 3G and it does voice. So here's the phone dialer. You can use it with speakerphone, Bluetooth headset, or wired headset. So you can actually make calls over the cellular network with this product. We have the same touch buttons on the bottom that we've seen on the Galaxy S phones. And the backlighting does go off on those, unfortunately, so they're hard to see once the backlighting has gone off. And the same exact buttons, home, back, search, menu. And we're running the enhanced desktop here. There's not much on this one at the moment now. There's the daily briefing, which is Samsung's widget for news and information, weather, that kind of thing. It's your main desktop. And we'll take a look at applications here. We'll take a look at Reader's Hub for you people who are into ebooks. We have newspapers. It's powered by Press Display. We've seen Press Display on some European e-readers like the IREX, but it's the first time that we've seen it on an Android product. It's also available for the iPad Press Display. And we've got books powered by KoboBookstore.com. And you might know the Kobo Reader because Borders sells the Kobo e ink reader. And magazines by Zinio. We're going to take a look for some newspapers. This covers about 2,500 newspapers across the world. And we're just going to take a look at one in German. So you can see here it looks visually just like a printed page. And you can pinch and zoom. And if the headline is highlighted, you can tap it to, tap it to go read the article the continuation. It's quite fast. These newspapers tend to be about 50 or 60 megs with press display, so it's a lot of thinking that the 1 gigahertz Hummingbird CPU has to do here. Next, we'll take a look at the email client. It's a really nice interface here, and you can see this has an accelerometer, so it works in landscape mode as well. And it reminds us a lot of kind of Outlook, basically. And it's a unified inbox, so you can get all your email accounts going to the same place. We'll take a look at the calendar next, which Samsung has enhanced. It's really a beautiful thing. It's highly graphical. That's your week view, and here's your day view. Month view, nicely done, and then the list view. So that was the calendar. Contacts integrates with social networking applications on this, and there's a need for speed shift demo on here, so let's take a look to see how that plays. The Galaxy Tab is going to ship with either 16 or 32 gigs of storage. It's up to you which version you buy. And we're waiting for the game to load. This is accelerometer based, so I'm going to have to move it around to steer. It runs pretty well. 
pretty cool. A lot more fun than on a four inch display, certainly. That was Need for Speed Shift. The Galaxy Tab is going to be available in Europe in October, probably the earlier part of October, and so it's going to be available only through carriers. It's not going to be sold direct retail. There is no Wi-Fi only version. And in the U.S., we should see it on all major carriers, according to Samsung's CEO. Let's hope. It's probably going to be November, sometime for the holiday season that we'll see that. No information on pricing yet or what kind of plans that you get with this. Obviously, you can do both voice and data, so it won't be a, just a data-only plan. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and this is Samsung Galaxy Tab, Android 2.2 tablet with TouchWiz 3.0.